What is going on everybody? I'm back. My name is Mike. This is Wall Street Traders where we break down the hot trending stocks to put you guys at an advantage at the market. All right, so today's stock that we're breaking down is AMC. Uh, I actually made a video about this uh, a couple days ago, and if you had watched that, I probably would have put you at an advantage at the market. I actually predicted that there was going to be a pullback since we were hitting major resistance. Uh, so we're going to re-dive into it today so you guys can understand exactly what you're looking at and to further predict on what you should do. Uh, if you guys haven't already peeped, the one and only Wall Street Traders jacket, guys. Um, I'm going to be wearing this until we hit that 1,000 subscribers. I'm only 20 away. So if you guys could actually just hit that button and like this video, if you learned anything, it would mean a lot to me. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. All right, so I already have my graphs already set, so that way this can be a little bit faster. Uh, and I will explain how I found them and break down exactly where my prediction is going to be where this stock is going to end up. All right, so this the first thing that we need to do is start from a higher time frame to see the overall direction and picture that our stock's in. So the more information that we have, the better chances of us predicting uh, where this stock will head next. So where i have these lines is going to be our major support and our major resistance areas so the first thing that we need to do though is figure out what direction is our stock in so these past couple of days we can see that we were pumping up right we were in a clear uptrend then we hit this area and are now pulling back so let me zoom in so you guys can see the candlesticks a little bit better so we hit and we hit this area so the next thing that we need to do is look left so we need to test our uh, resistance level so we were in a uptrend or we're still technically in an uptrend this would be like a 50 percent uh, retracement level so it's a pullback so when you're pumping up uh, as much as this did you know if you're running a marathon you're going to want to take a break you're not going to take a 15 minute break and then start running another marathon i'm tired of this grandpa that's too damn so basically this is just kind of cooling off but we can predict why this is bouncing off in this area is because it's our major resistance level so even though we are an uptrend it's hitting major resistance levels and can further we can further predict on what's going to happen next is it either going to come up retest our resistance and fail and uh re-hit our support levels down here or will it create a breakout and go higher but we need to understand how strong is this resistance level so we can do this by counting the candlesticks that hit in this specific area to see um, how strong it is. So we have candlesticks hitting one, two, three. Uh, we can count this specific candlestick. It's a, a bottoming and tail, but it, it ultimately opened either up here or down here, but was still rejected in this area. We have a candlestick that came through and hit this area. We can pull back all the way to our left and we can see that all within on the opposite side of our resistance line that these candlesticks ultimately pulled up and was rejected pulled up in this area and rejected and on the opposite side of our resistance it becomes a floor so if it breaks above our, our roof it's going to come up come back down and retest uh will now be our support level so what that means is over here we see that it came down right bounced off this level came back down bounced off this level so since it's on the opposite side in this area it is working as a floor so it's bouncing off in these areas ultimately failed after testing this area twice came up rejected pulled all the way down to our support level which i'll get into in a second um, so it kind of works as channels guys and this will help you uh, read these uh, charts better rather than not having no tools at all and just looking at the chart itself um, so yeah ultimately came down hit our support level came up retested this level about three times before coming back up and hitting now that what's once our floor is now a roof since it broke through that level so now it came up and hit our resistance level it pulled back came back up hit our resistance level again peekaboo through and rejected we keep moving forward oops let me get rid of this one uh, I don't know where that line came from I apologize don't mind this line get rid of that uh, came up broke through our floor ultimately failed but is still in the general area 
this six dollar six fifty dollar area we can see that it just keeps hitting and failing so we keep moving we keep moving uh where it rejected it came all the way back down to where our support area that same exact area from last year i believe or the beginning of the year it hit that level and bounced so we keep going we keep going we keep going it comes back comes up comes back down and where does it hit our support level again so what happens after after we came bounce off this level then this is where we got that huge spike um it came up spiked up broke through all our levels uh came all the way up to 2036 came all the way down if you see this individual candlestick once it broke through those levels you remember when it broke both through those levels so when it comes back down and to test that level it's going to work as what uh, a floor our new floor but we have to test that new floor since it has broke through it so what happened it, it came all the way down tested on our new support area right then came up came all the way back down tested our support level again so that's twice that it has tested our levels and then kind of pulled up a little bit um and then rode through our support level ultimately broke out and then pulled up again so and this is kind of where we're at right now so uh, i guess that line that i had was for that area so i'll just put another one back so this is where we're at right now let me change the color so you guys can see that better all right so now you can see why this is rejecting in this area is because it's been hitting in this area for however long and rejecting in that same area so this is a major major resistance level uh, and has been tested more than three times so ultimately personally what i believe may happen is this may pull back like what it's doing right now because it's been pumping so hard right it's been pumping so hard it's been running a marathon it needs to cool off um, so as that we can see that right now it's cooling off it's pulling back a 50% retracement and which is a healthy it's a healthy pullback that's completely normal guys it's not <coughs> excuse me <coughs> it's not crashing but it's just taking a break so what we would like to see is this to come up hit our resistance level again right and this would be a good buy opportunity uh, so we would put our entry level around the 1486 area and so that way if it does break out you will get tagged in in this area ride the momentum and then have your target at the previous highest point so now this all depends on what type of trader you are so if you're a day trader you probably wouldn't have you'd probably have it in the 16 16 dollar area and you'd get in like around the 14 1450 1460 area as a core trader if you're going to hold long term uh obviously it'd be the highest previous point which was the 2036 dollar area um so this is what could happen you know and if it does break out and you ride this momentum remember it needs to come back down and retest our new floor once it breaks that prior roof right here it needs to come up and retest our floor before it continue it continues its trend higher um so that's what we're going to want to look for if it's going to try to continue a higher trend um and then the other al alternative obviously is it, it rides and consolidates in this area for a little bit and then ultimately fails and then so our next major support level that we've tested and i have shown you uh, where levels it's tend to bounce from is this six dollar six dollar area so that's where our major support level would be at if it did decide to crash so this would be another good buy opportunity in this area for a quick bounce scalp trade day trade um whatever type of trader that you are so uh this makes sense on why it pulled back and i personally was going to get into this trade um until i seen all the resistance that was in this in this area uh so you guys personally i would i would wait for it to retest this resistance level guys and then make your decision from there uh, if you guys really enjoy my videos please please subscribe leave comments below on what stocks that you guys want me to break down so i can put you guys at advantage at the market and help you guys learn these things um but i really enjoy what i do guys and i would really like to do this um every single day and uh to put you guys at an advantage um, but I really hope you guys have a beautiful day and I hope you guys actually learned something from this and uh, have, an, have a good one.